Hey folks, Willie Dean here, continuing my uh, long session of Civ 4. Just had a little snack, and I'm ready to kick some butt, specifically some Spanish butt. So let's declare war against Spain and not misclick. So on the iron here we have an Axeman. Hmm. Luckily I have something that trumps an Axeman. I suppose I've got something with enough XP for, yeah, melee upgrade. 50-50? Wow. Oh, because it's a fort. Despite the extra strength, huh? Whew, I was a little worried there. There weren't, like, amazing odds of awesomeness, so... Oh, look at Brennis! Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Were you about to declare war? We might actually be fighting over Santiago. Um... Rotterdam has got some troops. Why do you have all those kinds of guys? Alright, yeah, I'll definitely send... I could take over some workers here, but... No, let's just send him over there, because I'm going to want to send these troops to the front. Keep an eye out for the uh, the Spanish flags. Alright, I think that's good for the turn. Um, you... Actually... It's not the most efficient medic promotion path, actually, never mind. Let's just give you that. And then have you pillage the fort, cut off her source of iron. you are wondering why I'm not upgrading my troops, or giving them promotions rather. So I like to wait for the right situation, plus it does it let you heal. It's always a little bit of risk, because defensively you want to be um, upgraded ahead of time. But I think it's a decent idea here. Where are you going? Maybe you're going to India? Is that possible? That wouldn't be bad. So yeah, for example, if I'm going to be killing someone in the field with this footman, I'm going to probably give him combat and then do something. But if I attack the city, I want city attack, and I don't want that kind of used up. Uh, the swordman. And then the catapult. Oh, everyone's all grouped together. That's so annoying when they do that. I think we can leave the axeman behind pretty safely. Like, only the Axemen, I mean. Mm. Might lose a few troops there, but that's not the end of the world. You just fortify there for now. And... Go. Alright, split up. Take the catapults. Um, do we have enough to go collateral damage, more bombard? No, not. That's too bad. Do have enough to bombard the crap out of them, though? Alright, random longbowman, which is fine. Move you into the hill together. Make me feel good. Extra long. Oh! Random warrior going to pillaging? We'll just kill you and then use the promotion to heal ourselves. A little risky going up here on our own. Because of that. But, unlike Civ 5, we can promote after we've moved. 
So I'll just take the extra combat strength and hope that'll protect me and my, my two ill-gotten workers over here. I don't suppose I can upgrade this guy. I can. Nice, let's do that. How do I know how many votes everyone has? I can defy, and then... She is... What is she again? Buddhist. So any of my cities that are Buddhist... Ah, I wish I could scroll in this view. I uh, might get a little cranky pants. She's willing to negotiate. Really, that didn't take very long. No, I don't want the... I want to make sure the war doesn't end. I probably don't need to, and this might cause a few issues, but I'm going to risk it. How many Buddhist cities do I have? Rotterdam, The Hague... And Amsterdam itself, which is really pissy. Oh, wow. We don't have anyone actually there. Well, we will in a second. So they're going to be really pissy next turn. Because I'll be like a villain. Or something. Uh, no, attacking Cross River there doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's just join the main pack. So... And this is why we need more catapults. Oh, yeah. Like, because we're going to lose a lot here. I don't think I want to just attack. All right, maybe we'll suicide one catapult. I know it's a stack, but I'm just going to attack once. All right, that weakens them. Which has a huge impact on the math. I mean, plus the 20% is good, but the weakening them is actually like one of the biggest differences there. Uh, and yeah, I'll install a new governor. Let's just keep a long moment right away. Move as many people as we can into the city. So how pissy did I make them? Uh, let's say, is it just... Oh, is it still the same turn? The vote hasn't gone through yet? Maybe that's true. Wow, everyone had voted yes to stop the war. And Isabella has way too many votes. Yeah, plus five unhappiness. Aw, oh, that is going to be a problem. Especially considering my cities were already like pretty massively unhappy from. Well, these guys are fine. Brennus declares war on Gandhi. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I can probably afford to move this guy out as well. Let's go to Rotterdam for now, actually. Like, let's see if we can't break their crippling unhappiness. We need one of these guys to turn into a medic. Oh, but they've all got the combat promotion. Actually, I should have been... No, they've all got that. Yeah, I guess that's the way it's going to have to be. So do this for healing. Let's get the promotion left. a medic. Um, yeah, anyone who can be upgraded here. Well, I guess it's just going to be one. But please do so. Wow, we're starving so hardcore. That's so much unhappiness. 
Problem is that we don't actually have enough troops kicking around in these cities. Uh, so what I should do, especially the ones that really don't matter. Let's move these guys out. Just leave one behind. There's only two here, so... I don't know, you know what? I'm gonna have to risk it. Get rid of a little bit of unhappiness, because that is, is really harsh. Still, it was either that or stop the war. And who wants to stop the war? I certainly don't. Wow, this guy's so close. Oh! That'll give me enough XP to make a medic. Nice, on my next turn. Actually, technically this longbowman could be a medic, but he's gonna have to stay behind the city defense. Oh, I lost a worker. That's okay. I don't like having to micromanage them, so I just have to accept losing them from time to time. On the other hand, I can do that, and then I can heal myself back up. And let's go with the city raider. And... Right, you were going to be the medic. Which is good. And actually, people are... Pretty healed. So it's gonna leave a maceman and one long woman behind? Like that. And I think that'll be enough for now. I don't think she can really mount a counterattack. Just out of curiosity. What would she give me for peace? Just one tech. Not even a city. I mean maybe I could ask for it and wiggle around and, and this, but no no no. We have feudalism, she could even capitulate. And that, that would be good once we get some damage done. Um, where are we going to attack from? I guess from the south right here, which is kind of awkward. And we've got to take an extra step and we'll be on flat land. No, definitely not. Brennus hates you. I'm not all that keen on you anyway. You look kind of shifty to me. Okay, not really. Oh, that was my medic that I left behind. That's not good. Hold on. Oh, you're a really good city raider. But I need a medic with the front line. A little risky leaving them exposed like this. But I'm gonna have to. Um let's leave a couple oops. Actually that's fine. The ones who are injured, yeah, that's a good idea. Leave them behind to protect the medic for a sec. Although it might actually be the other way around. Okay, I'm just gonna fortify here. Still need to break the unhappiness thing. Yeah, our cities are shrinking. Ah! So bad! We're losing a lot of score as a result of it too. Ah, Apostolic Palace. Yes, happiness would be good. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, you'll probably give me some gold per turn too. Giving iron to a friendly guy. No, I'm okay with that. Plus one happiness everywhere. Yes. Please. Bombard. And... Actually, our combat odds are pretty good, even without softening them up first.
Well, I could have used you a while ago to make a quick super medic of some kind. We can't build chariots, huh? No, no horses. What am I going to do with you? Probably... I think the city will actually have very decent production, so let's name it the... Um, uh, this is going to be the military city. So we'll stick you there, because it's got a couple of, like, hammers here and some hills. It's not great, but production is kind of going to be a problem in general. Yeah, everything is shrinking. Ugh. Is there anything... Uh, I just realized, is there something I could do over here for happiness? Pretty much not, huh? And I don't have an actual uh, culture slider. Because I don't have the required technology. Do I have a fairly healthy... I do. Attacking across river, apparently that is not going to work out for me. Let's fortify here for now. So you are going to plus two experience points to new units. Oh, and you're finally not miserable. So I could actually send you somewhere else. Most of the miserableness is 